have a w- girl that I work with, a woman that I work with, and we had went and spoke at a church on Friday night, and on our drive home, she was telling me a story, and um, I just loved this part of her life, but she gave me permission to share this. At least she'll have to now. No, I'm kidding. She gave me permission. And, um, and she said there was a moment when she had a trash can, and the trash can had broken, and she's a beautiful single woman, so she's living with other single girls, and the trash can had broken, and she thought, I have to fix this trash can because, you know, it's going to be a long time if I have to wait for a man to come fix this. How many of you have ever been in that world? And so she said, I got to go, I got to go fix this. She goes out to her garage, and she gets her screws and, and all this stuff, and when she pulls the trash can out, she sees that there's been trash dumped for many, many, many months, if not years, behind this trash can. And so she thinks, I need to get in there and clean it out. And so she fixes it, and she takes the, the trash cans, and she scrubs it, and she washes it, and then she goes in, and she begins, she goes, I get on my hands and knees, and I'm, I'm taking all of this trash out. And she's thinking, like, I do not want to do this. You ever been there? I don't, isn't there someone who could do this for me? I don't want to get on my hands and knees. I, I'm a professional woman, you know, and I don't know, I'm putting this in her, in her head, but I'm, you know, I'm doing all these things. I don't want to do this on my time off. I'm getting my master's degree and I'm working hard and I'm doing all this. And now I'm on my kitchen floor wiping out a trash can. And as she's wiping it out, the Lord begins to speak to her. And he begins to say this to her. Now, I'm gonna give it to you. I'm gonna give you everything. And she said in that moment, the Lord literally said to her, it was almost like this moment where she's cleaning out the trash can and the Lord says, now I can give you everything. You see, there are many moments in our lives where we are doing hidden things. I cleaned houses for six years before I ever preached. And there were many years where I would clean houses and I would take my tape player, I would take my tape player, and I would put, I was hoping that's what it was called, it's been so long. I would put it in and I would scrub toilets and I would, I would hear God. And I would weep over what God was saying. And the Lord began to talk to me about being faithful in the small things. Because if you're faithful in the small things, he will give you big things. You see, some of you, I love you, but God is trying to train you by putting the shopping cart back. Some of you, God's trying to train you by not parking in a place you're not supposed to park. Some of you, God's trying to train you by setting your alarm and getting up or, or serving or responding to your bills or your emails and you're going, why, why is this important? And I'm saying God sees everything. And your ability to persevere. Did you know when a woman has a baby, I have pictures. No, listen, when a woman, <laughs> when a woman has a baby, there's a season, it's called transition. And when a woman has a baby, there's a moment when she transitions, and at that moment, the doctor's saying, push, and you're thinking, I'm going to hurt you. What do you think I'm trying to do? I'm hanging out here? What am I doing? Like, oh, what are we doing here? I didn't know we were having a baby. I didn't know my whole body was saying to push. Interesting. There's a moment of transition where everything inside of you is saying, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm joking. I'm teasing. I don't want to do this. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Did you know some of you, listen, listen, listen. There are some of you in this season right now where you have been, you've been birthing something. And I'm going to say this prophetically over you. And just look at me for a minute because I just believe this is going to go straight to your spirit. Some of you have been birthing something and you have spent years birthing it. And you're in a season where you're like, I don't want to do this anymore. I remember this very clearly. Two and a half years, three years ago, I was sitting in my living room and I was crying and I was saying, God, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't know what's going on, but I'm not sure I can do this anymore. I'm carrying this dream within me to do more and I, I, my life is so hidden. It's so not what I was hoping it would be. And there's a, there's a season of transition where if we will hold on and do what we were created to do, which is birth God's dreams. 
Listen, you were created to birth God dreams. Your spirit will tell you what to do, just like your body will tell you what to do. Someone says, well, how do you know what to do? If you go to any class, they'll say, your body will know what to do. Trust your body. And I'm saying to you, look at me, trust your spirit. Your spirit knows how to birth the things that God's put within you. Your spirit will tell you when to go and when to stay. Your spirit will say, don't do that and do that. Your spirit will say, get up and write and don't write. And your spirit will say, go over here and don't, and listen to your spirit. The Holy Spirit is trustworthy and he will tell you when and where. He will show you how. He will show you what to do. But if you are committed to the process, I am telling you, he will be faithful to you. Mm -hmm. 